Hey Stingers, how are we doing? So we are in the new incubator room at the moment. As I've had a parcel arrive today, we are going to film in here. Now, most of my filming will be done in the other room, but that's not even close to being finished yet. And plus, it's warm in here and cold out there, so I'd rather be in here. Um, now, I'm still fiddling with the lighting, camera angles, and all that kind of stuff, just to get an idea. So this is really just a testing video for now. Um, but let's go grab the parcel. Alright, here's the parcel. Now, as you know, I'm probably not going to be able to pronounce this correctly, but we have some giant burrowing cockroaches, uh, Micropenisphere. Hold up. Macropenisphere. 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 Uh, rhinoceros. Um, probably not, <laughs> probably not saying that right at all, but uh, let's get them on the table. been quite a while since I've had these guys last. Um, I would say at least a year. Um, but I will be hopefully trying to set up a breeding colony of them because I'd like to be able to have them yearly if possible. Let's get them out, okay? Yeah. Here we go. Come on, girls. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you see them? Just in there. Now, this one's probably just a um, sub-adult, I wouldn't say, I would say for now. But I'm hoping there's uh, a couple of large ones in there. Just, <laughs> I better make sure there's none in this. None in the uh, shredded paper still. That's it. Better grab a tub just in case. Um, these guys aren't extremely fast, but I don't want to go losing them off the edge because it is a high table, as you can see. We'll just get one out for now and uh, get up nice and close, and then we'll just get their enclosures ready for them. Now, I've already made the substrate up, which is great. We've got their food, um, so we'll just put them straight in basically. Now these guys do have the ability to hiss. They're not gonna bite you. Um, there's a very rare chance of that being able to happen. But as you can see, they're pretty docile. Now they can get much larger than this and I probably do have a bigger girl or boy over there. Now this one is a female and I'll be able to show you the difference a little bit later on with them. How can you say no to these? How adorable is that? <laughs> Go back in there, honey. There you go. We'll just keep it nice and dark now. And put that tissue just back on top. I want to see if there's a bigger one. Oh, okay, it's okay. Now, this one's a male. Now, as you can see, try and get nice and close. There we go, come on. Focus. There we go. The males have a divot in the head. Come on. There we go. You see? On my right is the female. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> They're very grippy. And on the left is a male. There we go. Oh, sorry. There you go. There you go, bud. You're a good big boy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. No, stay in there for now. I'll get your hounds ready in a second. That's it. Back up. Back up. We've had a close look now, so let's go get their housing and set them up. I need more space. <laughs> hey, 
And yes, I'm gonna use pink. Now I'm hoping that because I'm able to be in the front of the camera more, I'm gonna be able to interact with you guys just a little bit more. Um, I'm not as creative. I'm trying to figure out you know, what to talk about half the time. And the guys that do, well, <laughs> give them a thumbs up because that's amazing. There we go. Now I'm pretty sure I ordered 10, so this should be enough. Uh, a good recommended size for them would be at least, say, 15 by 25 centimeters. Uh, these are great because they happen to be roughly that size. Uh, we've also got, you know, good ventilation too. Alright, for these guys, I'm just going to use uh, Core Peat Bricks. Um, Coco Peat is great for them, they love that. Um, I've already just made it up so it is nice and moist, but it's not, you know, damp or anything. Um, but it's ready to go, so I'm just going to put it in, compact it, because you've got to compact it, because these guys do like to burrow. Um, by compacting it, it just makes it a lot easier for them to do it, and just, you know, a lot easier for them to walk on. Just found an escapee, that is so lucky. Which one did you come from? <laughs> you put you in there for now. I think you came from the broken one, didn't you, baby girl? Cheeky. Unfortunately, there was a cracked container and she's forced her way out. Um, I'm, I'm glad she was walking along the side of the uh, of the shelves then because that wouldn't have been nice if I stood on her. What a sweetie. <laughs> Alright, let me grab something else for you. straight in the enclosures now let's just uh, compact all this alrighty I'll be back in one minute I want to get them some more substrate just you know oh, you want at least 10 centimeters for them to dig under Alright, I'm back now, so the battery on the camera did die before, uh, which is okay, so because I have to go get some more substrate and just pack some more in. I'm just going to grab some sphagnum moss and sprinkle a little bit of sphagnum moss on top. Um, where is that? There it is. Don't want heaps, I just want a little bit to help with the uh, moisture levels, the humidity. Alright, you can give these guys water bowls. Um, you only want a shallow dish, you know, you don't want something too big. Uh, so, like these, these are perfect. Uh, they only hold about 20 25 mils of water. Um, but you just want to put it off to one side, and I know by the morning these guys are going to have burrowed <laughs> and uh, covered their water bowls. Um, we'll put them in for now, and if I have to, I'll get them out later and put them back on top. I just want these guys to have some water straight away when they get out because no doubt they are thirsty all right these guys will mainly feed on dried gum leaves um, you can give them some fruit I give them a slice of apple once or twice a week depending on how how fast they do eat it uh, but you want to make sure there is a constant supply of the gum leaves for them and do make sure they're dry if they're not you're not going to touch them uh, but you want to give it a spray every now and again because you do want it to be moist don't want it to be too dry um, so i'll just grab the leaves get a couple of these somewhere else we're going to put these just need a little bit more space You don't really want the twigs, just the leaves will do for now. Plus the, the sticks just take up way too much room. Alright, let's just give them a quick spray. Let's fill up these water bowls as well. Might as well at the same time. Now guys, please, if you have a lot of water, get one of these. It's just, it's worth it. You know, it makes it so much easier on your wrist than holding a heavier one.
Cool. Um, if you're not able to give them a deep enough substrate, make sure you do have a hide for them because they, they will want somewhere to be able to hide, feel secure and safe. We have another escapee. Don't know how, but <laughs> they're getting out. I need to put them into something. I'm just going to put them in this tub for now because they seem to keep managing to push their way out and I am terrified of standing on one. Alright, now that I know I am not going to stand on any, they're all in this tub for now. Um, I'll give them a separate one in a moment. I'll be right back. I just need to get myself a marker. Don't you guys go anywhere now. And if you can hear that scratching noise, that's these guys. All right, let's get these guys out of the way for now. Uh, I just want to chop them up a couple of apples first before I put them in. Give them a slice for now. I'll put it near the water over there in the corner. <laughs> nice, that's way too much. Uh, it doesn't matter, I've got a couple other things to eat it as well. There we go. Oh, I need to give that one a spray too. Alright, they've got an apple, they've got some water, they've got some uh, gum leaves. Now let's get these adorable little things out of here and into somewhere they're going to feel a little bit more secure. Get the lids. All right, first up, we'll start with this guy here. This is a male adult. That one. <laughs> These guys are quick, so I've got to get a lid on them um, because he will climb out. He was pushing his way out of his tub earlier. So I'm just going to close them up at the same time. Now they do have a preferred temperature. Now I can keep them between 18 to 24. That would be great uh, for them. So lucky them, they're in here. So they will be at a constant temperature. Uh -uh, where do you think you're going? I'll be right back. Um, I think there's a little jumping spider on one of the enclosures. Uh, so I'm going to go get a container just to catch him so we can get up close and have a look at that as well. Alrighty. Uh, oh no. He's moved on. Where'd you go? Here you go. There he is. Come on. This guy, little guy wanted to say hello. Ah, that's my thumb. jumped in. Right, I better ride on them otherwise I'm gonna forget. <laughs> I've 
just found the jumping spider. He's on my camera. You cheeky little bugger. You're just curious, aren't you? Come on. Alright, let's put the rest away. Yes, the girls can have pink lids. Just to <laughs> make it easy. There we go. <laughs> Almost dropped her. Female. Female. Alright, Stingers, so these adorable little guys are all housed now. Um, Got to find space for them in here for the time being. There is space. I'm just going to move a couple of things around. Um, keep an eye out for some more videos as I've got a couple more pairing videos to put up. Um, I'm going to do some rehousing over the next week or so because there's a few of these girls around me and down there that I want to be put into these enclosures here, my new terrariums. Now the terrariums are available and they are amazing. But please, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do by clicking the bell button down below. And you'll be notified every time I put up a new video, which from now on, I'll try and do one every week. Um, having this room is, well, having these two rooms, that room's just not done. But having these rooms is going to make it a lot easier for me to keep organized uh, instead of the, the house. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.